Nobody is listening to me, but somebody watch this video, please. True North Review. True North Reviews. True North Review. Hey there, welcome to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing Nobody Is Listening by Zane. This is the final One Direction member I've yet to review on the channel. I'm so proud that I've made the rounds to each solo artist at least once. Now that just means that they can all get back together and get back to One Direction. That's what we're here hoping for, right? Anyways, sticking to reality here and what's already in reality. Nobody is listening is Zane's third studio album and it is the follow-up to the very long sophomore project of Icarus Falls. I enjoyed a handful of tracks on there but as a full-length project just way too bloated and Zane it felt like he was biting off more than he could chew. I think that's the nicest way I could put it. Now personally not being the biggest Zane admirer when Niall and Harry kind of take charge in my mind as being the all-around type artists. It is a nice thing knowing that on this album cycle, Zayn appears to be more willing to be cohesive, to be straight and to the point, and hopefully more consistent across the board. But then again, the bar is set fairly low, and I'm sure Zayn can do better than LP1, just throwing that out there. Stating the obvious aside, what do we get on Nobody Is Listening? Well, to kick off this record, Zane wastes no time capturing his audience's attention. He's clearly looking to make up for past mistakes that were made on Icarus Falls. Calamity is the name of the intro track. We have minimal instrumentation on here. More of an old time classic R&B sound with a contemporary style rap verse from Zane himself. Honestly, he fooled me as a feature. Zane sounds like a, a brand new artist altogether, like he's reinventing himself. He has a consistent flow and delivery. I can't find much fault there, although he might take influence from Devlin, who shows up on the project later. But for the most part, Calamity is a great opener. Warmth to the production sets the tone and has me intrigued for the rest of this album. Turning on a dime, though, the very next track, Better, uh, is a very average and typical modern R&B song. The EQ is a little too unbalanced for my personal liking. The lows just suffocate any and all of the mids and highs out of the rest of the song and it just gets bricked out and when we shift back to those soft moments with the guitar, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. The cut outside is a little better for comparison. Granted, the falsettos aren't Zane's greatest and they are bordering on unflattering. The lyrics to outside also pander about some breakup I couldn't really care for, just very cliched and unspecific. Zane again gets carried away with the sub bass on the song too, just drowns out all of the color and flavor to the mix. As a turnaround moment on this project, Vibe has some slick production and a decent tune. Any other time I would catch myself saying that vibe music is way too surface level and boring, but Zane actually persuades me to give it another chance, give it another try on vibes. In true roller coaster fashion though, there is another dip in quality on When Love's Around featuring Sid, uh, which is a disappointment to say the least. I expected more from this duet, the performance between the chemistry, the exchanges, any of the harmony they're just okay and there's no quality on here that impresses me honestly sounds phoned in of course a generic and dull instrumental doesn't help much here but the lyrics too they read like they were spit out of a random love song generator they say nothing that gets me invested with what the singers have to say and it's like I'm being shown an infomercial for the hundredth time and I'm still not interested in buying what they're selling to make matters worse connection this track is uh, another letdown falsettos are excessive and too much. They may be tolerable, but what can't be excused are the vocal filters on the pre and post chorus. In fact, those sections of the songs are just downright cringy. The filters are grating, the guitars are lacking tune, and the song just runs through the motion as a repetitive slop. 
Thankfully though, Zayn avoids a train wreck for the rest of this album, especially production-wise. Granted, he has helped out immensely, but this comes as a welcome sight, even with so many hands in the collective pot. You might remember how critical I was of Liam Payne when he had god knows how many producers on LP1, but Zayn, in comparison, he doesn't have to water down his sound dependent on the number of producers on each cut. Uh, the biggest compliment I would give to his sound it would go to Salt Wives. He joins forces with Zayn on the track Sweat, and they kill it on the nocturnal and seductive instrumental. It balances that 80s nostalgia with modern production to absolute perfection. Zayn's vocals hit like a tidal wave, the emotions escalate, and he pours his heart and soul on this track, while the songwriting is finally there to back him up too. Sweat is a hot and steamy song for the bedroom, you don't want to miss out on it. Again, the Salt Wives production is an easy standout on this project, and another high point on Nobody Is Listening, in my opinion, is Windowsill. A raunchy and overt song about sex, but it's a guilty pleasure on the track list. The only downside is how it ends abruptly, but Devlin, a rapper from the UK, still gets a chance to collaborate with Zayn and possibly gain some more traction in the mainstream, which would be very nice to see. Then we move towards the final set of tracks to close this album, very impressed by them, including Tightrope, which at long last we have a sub bass that feels like it complements the track and doesn't pull away from the enjoyment of the tune. River Road, another personal favorite of mine, Zane puts together a very strong vocal performance and belts out every note on this song that seems to be more in the vein of Harry Styles. Regardless, Zane carries the tune over a bare bones instrumental with a great guitar tone. I'd love to see him do more of this type of song going forward because he he clearly has a knack at doing it. Another abrupt ending, unfortunately, for River Road, which is a shame since the song had such good shape and direction. It's just sad that the label had to cut it short as maybe they didn't want any of the songs on this record to go above four minutes so they could market everything to the radio. Who knows, but overall, I think this record is still a tale of two albums. Zayn's vocal ability remains to be his calling card, but until he proves that he can write better songs throughout a full project without being so scattered, he's still a work in progress as a solo artist in my opinion. First and foremost, if you are interested, check out the song Sweat since that seems to be the biggest highlight here, but other than that, this is another R&B project that is slightly underwhelming and missing out on some of its potential, and even when it does achieve that potential and when it's fully realized, some of the songs are just cut way too short. Don't get me wrong, I believe Zayn can still redeem himself one day and maybe he'll end up doing exactly that on his next album as he transitions into fatherhood. As for now, I am feeling a strong 5 to a, a very light 6 out of 10 on Nobody Is Listening. There you have it, there's the review for today. Make sure you guys sound off down below in the comments. Tell me what you guys think of this music, whether you agree or disagree. I'm here to engage with you guys. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, I'd appreciate that as always thanks for watching and have a rockin day mm -hmm.